Hey honey bunches, so this past week I had my cousin, 10 year old cousin staying and he's quite a fussy eater or at least that's what I thought but we were still gonna eat vegan so I just made more kid friendly, more fussy eater friendly dinners and this is what we had for five, uh, the five days that he was down. So this first uh, meal was a chickpea mushroom pot pie type thing. I thought the puff pastry would go down and I just guess a bit of a disclaimer he ate everything he didn't really say much about the food so I guess I'll just take that as a positive response I generally kept to more plainish flavors and like crunchy textures and I think it's more like brown crunchy puff pastry and crumbing to things and that seemed to work well so we had broccoli with these little chickpea mushroom pot pies and even though they had spinach and lots of greens in it it went down well did a number two we had two large gigantic cauliflowers because they were like ridiculously cheap. We ended up just having like a quarter, uh, half a cauliflower, my bad, uh, for dinner. And this went down well. I was trying out sort of a new recipe type thing to share in maybe a little book I'm putting together. And this was a serious hit for dinner. I think he's never had anything like just eating cauliflower buffalo wings. I think that's totally something that was a bit foreign but we had three different flavors a uh, balsamic vinegar pesto and more of a, a mexican type one and i'm definitely gonna share the pesto cauliflower one that was ridiculously tasty um that's two cauliflowers worth of florets i know slightly depressing how they kind of shrink down but we had them with crunchy lettuce cups and i made a bit of like a mayo dill dressing to have with them and they were a massive hit. They'd just be a hit with anyone, they're so good. This was a bit of a easy dinner because we were all kind of getting home a little later so we just had these fries snitchels with some sweet potato fries and veggies. I guess it's like a standard meat, not meat, but like you know your protein and your veg, um, which I guess was more recognizable for him. We had peas and corn and broccoli. We were really like regular with having greens on the side because I don't know, it's nice to uh, showcase some norms in the eating department that might be different from other people's. And then to number four, I went to Hot For Food again and I made a slight spin on these vegan crab cakes, which if you don't know have a base of artichoke and then you mix with all sorts of other ingredients and I made these a little larger than I think the recipe sort of, they're more like an appetizer type thing but we were having them as like main meal uh, uh, lol, lol, words okay um, now I'm crumbing now I'm blitzing breadcrumbs and <laughs> I just crumbed them and battered them breaded them in whole meal flour almond milk and whole meal it was kind of like a rye loaf breadcrumbs and they looked like they were gonna fall apart but they didn't I just put them in the oven and put a little bit of grapeseed oil so it would get even crunchier on each side turning them once and yeah, that was a fabulous less oil way of cooking them. You could obviously do it in an air fryer, um, that would work super well too. But they got seriously crunchy and were really really delicious. Once again we had with broccoli and peas and I just wanted to use up this like coleslaw mix so I just put bits of that on the plate as well. Look how crunchy they got, how amazing do they look. I'll share some version of my own honey bunch of onion tops fish crab cake type things um, they were pretty fabulously delicious and I think you need a recipe of sorts so dinner number five um, we were kind of running out of ingredients in the fridge but I was really happy with how we had used up and meal planned our week away so I was making a lentil shepherd's pie and instead of kale I used spinach I just want to show you like who puts natural spinach on the back of like frozen spinach like why is it not natural I don't know, I found that a bit weird. So I wasn't really following the recipe exactly. I was using frozen spinach instead of kale, as I said, and used leek, and um, which isn't really in the recipe, and also bolted it up with some vegan sausages because we didn't have any mushrooms. And even though the end result sort of looked, well, the mixture, and um, there's the mushrooms I kind of, uh, well, the sausages, I just chopped up and sort of uh, mashed them slightly. Um, yeah, so once I put the lentils and sausages and veg all together, which is the bottom component of the lentil shepherd's pie, and mix it up, yeah, it was looking a little like dog food, you could say, <laughs> but it tasted very delicious, and once again I sort of played on the 
plainish, not plainish, but just nothing, no flavours like too out of this world. Um, and that worked. Yeah, so I put vegan parmesan and a little bit of vegan cheese with the sweet potato and potato mash on top, and it went down pretty well. I didn't really get much feedback, but it was all eaten, and hopefully you can take some uh, clues as to what works for feeding more picky eaters out of this video. And if you after some more HBOT grooviness, my HBOT journals might uh, be what you're looking for. So check them out if you're interested in the description box below, and I'll see you in the next video, honey bunches. Thanks for watching. Bye!